What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X here, and in today's video, I went back to that hoarder's house and I picked up a lot more Amiga and Commodore stuff. So we're gonna be going over that, so stay tuned. And lots of Commodore goodies coming up. guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this so first thing I ended up picking up was a box of Dragon's Lair now none of these have um, like the discs or anything in them it's just the boxes but I already own these discs anyway so I was just missing the boxes this is probably the one that's in the worst shape it looks like it was kind of flattened out but that's okay and we got Lords of the Rising Sun and these are those big boxes that Amiga used to sell everything in. This one has the instruction manual and everything in it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. RR Tokens, War in Middle Earth. I've actually got that game too. So, like I said, every one of these I have the discs for, so I can make these collections complete finally. Space Ace, Don Bluth. This is a really cool game. So I'm kind of stoked to get all these guys. This is kind of cool again. Um, now I went to his house. Um, I asked if I could record picking, going through his stuff, and he said absolutely not. And he was like ready to kick me out of his house just for asking that. <laughs> so we know how hoarders can be, guys. So just so you guys know, uh, when, <laughs> when you go to their house, just to buy by what they want you to do. So And you usually get your way at that point. All right, so here's another one here. So this is Speedball. Everybody probably knows Speedball on the Amiga. Classic game. It came from the desert. That's really cool. I think this has the instructions in it or something, too. I can hear something floating around in there. Uh, New, York's, New York Warriors. That's cool. Uh, this one only had the top part of the box. I was hoping I could find the bottom, but it's uh, Breach 2. Yeah, I could only find the top. But I thought it was a, a cool little uh, thing here. All right. TV Sports Basketball. I don't know if you guys remember the TV Sports from Cinemaware. Pretty cool. Advanced Dungeon and Dragons, Ilsfar. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all these guys, I'm really stoked to get. Another Advanced Dungeons and Dragons for the Amiga. This one's The Curse of Azor Bonds. This one feels like it might even have the software or something in it. Oh, look at that. It's even got the, the little code discs for the uh, copyright stuff and all that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> awesome guys and yeah, let's see what this is King of Chicago that's a pretty cool game I don't know if you guys remember that so most, most of the stuff is like from Cinemaware which I own basically all these games guys and I think that is pretty much all the Amiga stuff so that's pretty much all the Amiga stuff guys let me grab the rest of this here just put it in my lap alright so the rest of the stuff I got <clears throat> was the system guide for the Commodore 64C, which I have one of those, which is kind of cool to get one of these too. I think this kind of shows you just the basics of like basic and commands and just a few different things here and there. Uh, here's the setup guide for the Commodore 64C, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> then I found this Atari programming. With 55 programs so basically this teaches you how to program on the Atari 8-bit system so kind of cool it's just chock full of all a whole bunch of different programs showing you how to do things from just basic programs to graphics and everything else so pretty cool all right and I thought this was cool too guys except this one's a little bent um, but these are all the user manuals for the Atari 5200 so I really thought that was cool. So I went ahead and picked these up too. So this is for the 
two port, and this one's for the four port one. But I do have a, a two port, so this is the one that would go with mine. So pretty cool, guys. Um, I also picked up a copy of the Commodore 64C Geos. Uh, so this shows you how to use the Geos software with the Commodore 64, just that graphics, kind of like a Windows-based operating system for the Commodore 64. So that was really cool to be able to find, too. Uh, then I ended up getting this. I actually had one of these. I uh, probably still do in storage somewhere. I don't know if it's the one I had or if it's a different one, but it's the official Nintendo Player's Guide. So they used to sell these back in the 80s. These were kind of like, told you the tricks and secrets of how to do things like this is Zelda and just a whole bunch of different games in here. It just shows you a whole bunch of tricks and Easter eggs and ways to get one-ups and lives and other things. So some pretty cool information in that book. And last but not least, I ended up picking this up too. I know this is not the official one, but it's kind of cool that this is actually in here like this. So this is the Commodore 64 Programmer's Reference Guide. And uh, basically, if you open it up, it's just a printed copy of it. But it just has basically everything that's in the uh, Commodore 64 Reference Guide all in one binder. So I could just kind of sift through this and get all the information I need out of it. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool, guys. But that is about it for all the pickups that I got, guys. Um, definitely some really cool stuff. So I'm going to get all these games together and get these put into the boxes and put them up in, like, a closet um, so that I have them complete. Kind of cool to, you know, not just have loose games and actually have them complete in a box with the instruction manuals and everything, too. So I'm really stoked about that, guys. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, it's been really cool kind of digging through this guy's house. Uh, if you guys actually find somebody like that where, you know, they're hoarding like computers, game consoles, anything like that, definitely become really good friends with them. And he said, anytime I want to come by, I can, you know, go snoop through his house to see if I can find any more things. Like I said, he doesn't want to sell any of his computers or anything like that. It's just basically these manuals and boxes and things like that he's just trying to get rid of. Uh, but his, like, computers, he has a ton of computers in his house, too, and he just does not want to get rid of them. So hopefully one of these days I can start to get to him and have him start selling some of these computers. He doesn't really have any consoles. He's more of a computer guy. But um, if that ever happens, guys, or if he ever lets me film on his property while I'm picking it, definitely want to go ahead and show you guys that. But, you know, you got to get permission from these people before you start doing things like that. So... But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I uh, just wanted to show you all this swag, all these manuals, all this stuff, boxes and everything I got. I thought it was pretty cool. All you Mega guys out there, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, wow, I can't believe you found all this. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys. You have a good one. Peace out. Game over, man. It's game over.